Right, we're uh, out down the coast, um, 1st of September 2023. Very little wind, we've got overcast conditions. Um, I've not got my gun out yet, and the first two teal have just come over our heads about 10 yards up. So uh, now getting stuff ready, and hopefully we can bag a bird or two. The dogs certainly are hoping they can have a swim or a bit of a retrieve. We've got a big tide today, um, so I think we'll probably get pushed back onto the top of the marram grass behind me. Um, We'll see what happens. Well, uh, we've got Lucky Tom here with me today, and Lucky Tom luckily got his gun out in time just after those two teal came past. We had a couple of mallard come over, and Tom's off the mark with a Drake mallard. So, uh, hopefully, I'll get the GoPro on my head and uh, maybe get a little bit of footage of us shooting something, but um, at least. Uh, we're off the mark today, which is a great start. Hopefully there'll be a few more turn up. Probably about two hours into the, the first morning and um, we've seen a few duck, we've seen a few teal. Probably maybe ten teal, um, but probably about the same amount of mallard. Um, you might be able to see the water is probably uh, foot or so away from breaking the top. Um, probably seen about as much as I expected really for the, for the first down the coast. Um, don't think it's been a great breeding season. It's obviously a little bit early for the uh, migrants to be in. Uh, I would imagine they'll start turning up by the mid-month or towards the end of the month. And they've got a Chinese water deer coming around. I'll get that on camera in a second if he doesn't smell us. Typical, I took the uh, GoPro off my head and a teal came past 35 yards away. <coughs> anyway, a little bit of excitement. So, hopefully, we'll. Um, oh, there come two duck up. There might be shovelers. Uh, hopefully, the duck will start moving now. The uh, tide's getting up. Certainly, the teal. Expect a few more of those to move. Split up from Tom now to try and double the chances. Um, this bottom in, three mallard came through. Um, missed us by about 100 yards, so we split up to double our chances and hopefully that will pay off. As you can see, it's quite a dull day today. We've got very little wind, probably three, four mile an hour of wind. Probably picks up to five, six mile an hour every now and again, but very, very still. He's a bit bored, he's just gone and jumped over one of the gullies to have a bit of a swim. You know, I'll come back, I think, if we see anything or the water gets a bit higher, but yeah, very quiet so far. Oh, that mallard was coming up, lovely. Just saw something he didn't like, or what he did like, and in he goes. Oh well. Good boy. Good boy. Dead. That is a quite a young mallard. Off the blank. Probably didn't get the GoPro on in time for that, but came from behind me, so what I was supposed to do. See who's happy, he's had a retreat. Dead sit. So, typical in Wildfowl, and that. Mallard came up from the front of me and uh, gave me loads of time to put the GoPro on and then decided that it liked the pool so it dropped in and uh, then I spotted that one from behind which didn't give me a lot of chance to put the GoPro on so hopefully I've just got it on in time um, to see it coming down but um, off the blank on the first so that's my first shot at 6.56 so it's uh, taken a while this morning but Never had blanked here. It was looking like I might, but 
shouldn't uh, always trust there's going to be a few birds about when that water starts breaking the green. You can probably just see that it's now breaking the green. So uh, it'd be nice to get just the other uh, shot or two more. Uh, hopefully get a teal would be nice. But there's not a huge amount moving so we'll see. But if it's just the one I'll take that. I can hear some cameras so that's nice. Don't really want to shoot one of them where I am today. Too far a walk to lug it back. But if they come over, they just have to have one. But I would imagine they'll just go straight out to the stubbles. Very late moving the geese this morning. We'll see what happens. So we've got about 40 minutes till the top of the tide. And as you can see, there's a lot of water about even a few snipe and a few gulls um, about the odd pair of mallard come out and a single teal or two but and these snipe may come out probably can't see them but um, but yeah it's very very slow down here um, really thought we'd see a few more birds but Hey ho, it's good to be out. I did come here a few years ago and uh, I think I posted that first on YouTube. Um, we saw quite a lot of duck. I was out with Lewis that day and we saw quite a lot of duck come through this flight line. So you never know, sometimes there are a lot more duck about on the first good breeding season. This hasn't been a good breeding season for anything by the looks of it. So uh, it's just the way it is. But you never know, maybe when the tide drops off we'll see some movement then. So, um, as you will see, the tide has come right up now. Uh, we were busy talking, watching the tide, and we forgot to get our bags from where the decoys are, and to remove Tom's spinning wing, which is got its backside in the water. So he's now looking to extract that, and uh, He's looking to extract that. Hopefully I'll get it on camera and he may as well be swimming in a minute, which will be quite funny. We'll see what happens. Bless him. I think he's going to be okay. A few duck flying around there. Tom stuck out in the middle of the water. Oh, that's a shame he's made it. Well done, Tom. Well done. I was hoping you were going to go swimming. Just got the edge, you need to go back and get the pole out. <laughs> right, and look, we've got duck everywhere. We've actually got some duck moving now. I don't know where they've come from. We've seen three widgeon. Um, oh, look at these. Some waders. I think they must be gadwall. Oh, might get a shot here. Yeah, yeah. yeah but look at these over here as well. Oh, yeah. Hey Tom, Tom. Right, I think I'm going to put big boys in because if they're going to be on the edge, I want to make sure I've got 36 grams in. That's what I've got in. Two big bunches of teal just came out of nowhere. 30 and 40 strong. Which is lovely to see. Three might come back. Not gone past.
Behind you, Tom. Behind you. Stay, stay. You shooting me? Tom got a nice teal there. Well, the water's been pulling out now for a good 15 minutes. Uh, but we've still got a huge amount of water around us. Um, I've seen a couple of bunches of mallard today, 10 or 12 in them, and they've come out and landed on it. And uh, just after high tide, we had two decent sized bunches of teal, 30, 40 birds. Um, came right over our heads, but a bit too high to shoot at, so we left them hoping they'd swing round, but they didn't. One lot dropped down, and the other lot went west. And, and uh, the ones that dropped down, they've just cleared off. Uh, a few minutes ago, so may find that we get a bird or two come back as the water drops. Um, but most of the duck that had come out had all have already dropped and oh, sorry jumped and uh, flew back off when Tom shot his uh, teal. Um, three teal floated round to the north of us, and um, one of them managed to come close enough for him to drop. So he should be on a mallard and a teal, and um. Still on my mallard for a single shot. Could have had a couple of snipe, but I'm leaving them. Um, not really interested in shooting them at the moment. Zulu's pleased because he's no longer sitting in water. But that was his choice. I didn't make him sit there. Hey, Zulu. Zulu. Stupid, aren't you? So he's not really had a lot to do, he likes to have a good swim, but um, the one that I've got a bunch of teal, probably won't see them on GoPro, but they are a bunch of about, I don't know, 12. I've got the GoPro off my head, so and they're going to come probably straight at me now, I've got the GoPro off my head. No, just pulling off just wide. 80 yards. So what they've done is they've just skirted me. You can see the um, water out in front and there's a gap between the two sets of vegetation and they've gone through that gap, which you can't blame them. Because obviously there's going to be nothing in there that's going to uh, shoot them. No one in there that's going to shoot them. Uh, whereas if they'd have come straight, they would have got shot at. So pleasing to see a few about, and, and at the end of the day, this is what we all love it for, just coming out and, and seeing duck moving around. And it's always nice to bag the odd bird. It's nice to see there are a few little packs of teal about, so hopefully more will come in as the season moves on. Anyway, put the GoPro back on my head and keep an eye out. Back! Back! Good boy! Good boy! Back! Good boy! Back! Good boy! Back! Good boy. And that's exactly why you need a wading stick. Although this is only up to my knees, there's a couple of pools in here which are, will have me a lot higher. So um, Tom tweaked that teal, I'm pretty sure. Um, so I'm pretty pleased to be able to bring that down for him. Good boy, you can bring that in. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Right, 
take my time near the edge. Got away with a dunking, so. What have you got there? Look pretty happy with yourself. Hey! Thank you. Yeah. Have a look. Well, feathers come to a point, so that is a mature adult hen. Come on, keep coming straight. No, they're going to Tom. No, they're not. Good boy. That time I should have had a pair. Good boy. Bring it here. Good boy, what you got? Bring it here. Oh, thanks for that, Zulu. Shoveler. Come nice and then just pulled off. And there come the greys, and by the sounds of it, some Canada's coming back off the stubbles, ready to drop in the reserve. So, not that many, maybe, maybe a hundred grey lag. Well, that's the end of the morning as far as we're concerned. Uh, it's starting to get warm, as you'd expect on the 1st of September. Um, we've still got tide up, so we've got an hour and a half probably sitting here, waiting for the tide to go down before we can get off. But it's not been a bad day. Um, we've ended up with three teal between us and two mallards, so can't grumble at that. Um, nice to see a few widget about, nice to see some shovelers. And also very nice to see a few packs of teal about. So, uh, yeah, pretty good morning as far as I'm concerned. Happy days. And uh, now to head home for a go inland and uh, this evening. I'm going to be taking Alex out. So uh, not really expecting much there at all. Um, but you just never know.